Hi guys, today I'm going to show you the Ninja Foodie XL Pro Air Oven. This is the 10 in 1 oven. It's a large countertop convection oven. It's 17 inches long, 20.2 inches wide, and 13.3 inches in height. This oven is 1800 watts and weighs 33.6 pounds. It's very heavy to move around, so it definitely needs a permanent spot on your counter. It should fit a 5 pound chicken, 12 pound turkey, or two 12 inch pizzas. This is a convection oven, so you don't have to rotate food for even cooking. The cord length is three feet. This is the manual. It's really long and has a lot of information. If you don't want to read all of it, use the quick guide. It has tips and tricks and lists all the functions and how to use the different racks. There's also a recipe book with 15 recipes. How to cook a whole roast and vegetables, mains and sides at the same time, whole roast chicken and vegetables recipe, chicken wings, focaccia, loaded potatoes, prime rib, and cookies. There's also an air fry cooking chart and dehydrate chart. Included with the main unit is an air fry basket, a roast tray, two sheet pans. The roast tray sits on top of the sheet pan and two wire racks. Also comes with a crumb tray that sits on the bottom. One, two, three, four is marked inside for the racks. There are two heating elements on the bottom and two heating elements on top. The fan, the oven light. Don't block the vents. Leave enough space around the unit. The digital display is on the handle. The display power button to turn the unit off and on. This oven has 10 features. Whole roast, air roast, air fry, bake, dehydrate, broil, toast, bagel, pizza, and reheat. Cook time, which counts down when cooking. The cook temperature. Preheat, which will flash when unit is preheating. Slices, which is for toast or bagel function. Rack level one to four, depending on the function you're using. The rack level will light up so you know where to put the tray. There are functions that let you cook on two levels, so you would press this two level button. The function button, plus and minus to select cooking function. Time and slices, use the plus and minus to adjust time or number of slices with the toast and bagel function. Temperature adjustment and also shade level from one to seven, lightest to darkest for toast and bagel. The shade will light up when using the toast or bagel function. Start stop button to start and stop cooking. The light button to turn the interior light on and off. Just to give you an idea of how big this Ninja is, you can see the size difference between it and a standard four slice toaster oven. If you have limited counter space, this might not work for you unless you're gonna cook everything in it. You can see how tall this unit is. There's just a few inches between the top of the oven and the bottom of my cabinets. When you first get the unit, wash all the parts in warm soapy water and dry. Then place all the accessories inside the oven and run it on air roast at 450 degrees for 20 minutes. This removes any residue. Air roast. Temperature to 450, and we'll set the time to 20 minutes and press start. When it's done preheating, the timer will count down. Be careful because the steel part is really hot. 20 minutes are up. I'll let the accessories cool, then start cooking. The air fry basket is just to be used with air fry function. The roast tray fits on top of the sheet pan to catch grease. The sheet pans go on top of the wire rack. The wire racks can be used on their own or with the sheet pan on top. To cook the whole chicken and vegetables at the same time, put the wire rack in on level one. The sheet pan roasting tray, and the chicken will go on top of this. And sit on the wire rack. Vegetables will go in the basket and on rack four. And they'll cook at the same time. I usually don't use foil or parchment in these types of units, but Ninja specifically states that you can use parchment and foil. Just make sure you cut your foil or parchment to fit inside the pan. You don't want it to be hanging out the sides. Foil should be used only on the sheet pan and not the roasting rack. I'll select whole roast. 
too level. The temperature is already at 375. And I'll set the time to 55 minutes. Press start to start heating. It took just a minute to preheat. I'll put the chicken in. This is a five pound chicken that I've washed and patted dry with paper towels. Then I spread about two teaspoons oil all over it and seasoned it. When you open the door of the unit, the timer pauses. The vegetables take less time than the chicken to cook, so I'll put them in later. Five medium potatoes seasoned with two teaspoons of oil and spices. You can probably fit six or seven potatoes. I'll put the potatoes in on level four. You can turn the light on if you wanna see what's going on inside. There's about an inch or two space between the top of the chicken and the air fry basket. So you can definitely fit a five pound chicken on this unit. About 30 minutes. You can see it's got nice color everywhere. Just gonna taste it. Ah! It's cooked. Potatoes took about 30 minutes. Time's up, I'll check the chicken. The light turns on automatically when you open the door. Also when there's a minute left in the cooking time. Chicken looks perfect, it's the perfect golden color. It's splattering all over the place. The breast is cooked also. Let this rest for about 10 minutes before cutting into it. There's some grease splatter on the door. The inside is very clean. The top heating element has some splatter on it, but besides that, it looks really clean on the inside. The meat is juicy, it's not dried out at all. The skin's a little bit crispy. The wing is definitely crispy. Tastes just like chicken roasted in a standard oven, but takes a lot less time to cook. 55 minutes is short for a five pound chicken to cook. And I didn't spatchcock it, meaning take the backbone out. It wasn't flat. This chicken would have taken close to an hour and a half in a standard oven. If you wanna get this unit, the link is in the description below this video. You can spray cleaner onto a paper towel or a soft cloth. and then wipe the inside of the unit. Also the heating elements if they're dirty. There is some splatter on the back. That can also be wiped down. The crumb tray can be pulled out. Clean it, dry it, and put it back. There were only a few crumbs on this, so it doesn't have to be washed every time. You could just wipe off the crumbs and put it back. It's recommended that all of the trays and racks and the fry basket be hand washed and not put in the dishwasher. I just washed the air fry basket with a sponge, some soap, and hot water, and it came out nice and clean. Of course, it was just potatoes with some spices. There was really nothing um, to get stuck onto the baskets. I just took the chicken off.
Wipe off any grease with a paper towel and then just wash in hot soapy water. And because I used foil, the cleanup is going to be minimal. There's just a little bit of grease on the side here, but the rest of the tray is very clean. Just a couple of cleaning tips. To clean the air fry basket, make sure if you're using a sponge like this, don't use the rough side because all these blue fibers will get stuck in here and it'll be a real pain to clean. To clean any of the racks and pans, you're supposed to only use a soft sponge. When I removed the chicken, of course, there was some stuff stuck on here and it is hard to just get off with the soft side. So of course you want to use the hard side but it can scratch up the non-stick coating so don't use the um, textured side. There are some particles stuck on and it's best to just soak the tray in hot soapy water. It should come off with the sponge. I'm not going to tell you this is really easy to clean because it's not. It does take a little bit of effort only because you can't use anything abrasive. So cleanup for this tray will take a little bit longer. The pan is perfectly clean because I used foil and the little bit of grease that was on here I could easily remove with the soft side of the sponge. If the air fry basket has a lot of particles and stuck on grease, it is best to soak it in hot soapy water. Cleanup for this unit is comparable to other air fryers or ovens or all-in-ones because most of them come with the air fry basket that look exactly like this and have the non-stick coating on all the pans. Since you can't use any abrasive pads, um, cleanup will take a little bit longer. One last thing about cleaning, the other side of the roasting tray, just be careful when you clean because these grooves are a little sharp. Like with pretty much all Ninja products I've reviewed, this is very user friendly. You don't have to figure out how to do anything. The unit will do it for you. I have to give Ninja that. They're always coming up with new features and focusing on small details like the rack level. I will put up some other videos showing you how to make frozen pizza in this unit and using the toast and bagel function. So stay tuned for that. If you want to get this unit, the link is in the description below this video. As always, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you want to get notifications of when I upload a new video, click on the bell icon and select all. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. Mm -hmm.